All right. So Nate, tell us about image mode. Yeah. So you touched on that whole sort of new lifestyle or new methodology of managing your rel systems. And I remember back when I was starting to learn about containers and how I had to wrap my brain around how this is different, right? How is a container different than a virtual machine? How is a container different than the way that I've run uh, workloads on Linux for pretty much my entire career, which at that point was a good 15 years of manual systems administration, moving into automation, and now all of a sudden this container thing. Well, basically you have to take those paradigms where changes don't happen in your containers anymore. They happen in your container file or your Docker file, and then they go to the registry and then they get pulled into production. And you have to take that methodology and apply it to how you're managing servers, right? So you could log into an image mode system and do a DNF update, but you should not <laughs> because that operating system or the disk layout and the files and the packages that are installed are pretty much an immutable file system tree, uh, minus a couple of exceptions. So the, like Etsy, for example, that is where machine state is held and that's where configuration is held. And while you can modify that with inside of that container file, it's like a merged situation where if there's local changes, they will take precedence. And VAR, VAR is basically where all of the variable data for your, your system lives. So things like your website content or the data that your database depends on. So that does not get overwritten when you deploy an updated image. These are just things that you have to think about. You have to learn how to work with them and figure out what's in that immutable part of the tree and what's not. 